Yeah. Let's <laughs> turn it on. All right. So we're live from the MI Gardener channel. Hopefully, this time the uh, the Wi-Fi will cooperate because we just decided. You know what? Until we get a new Wi-Fi booster, I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna fiddle with it out in the garden uh, like we were trying yesterday. So this is a redo of yesterday's live stream. Um, for anyone that was there, I do deeply apologize for that. Uh, it's something that we, you know, we pride ourselves in quality, and that's why I put the money into a really good Wi-Fi booster, and it really is uh, really let us down big time yesterday. So uh, I got to figure out kind of what was going on with that. But uh, we're here, and uh, and so we're going to do basically what we did yesterday. And we're gonna do it for about 30 minutes or so, answering all of your questions about Trifecta Plus. We want you guys to feel uh, you know, comfortable purchasing it, comfortable trying it. Um, I know for a fact that me, I would never uh, have a garden without it. It is something that I have used now for six years, absolutely love, and I rely on in combination with uh, things that we do promote like compost and worm castings and things like that, that, um, that will supercharge your soil and give you absolute incredible results that you really never thought you could, you could be possible or, or dream of. And, and that's what I've really found to be true with Trifecta Plus. Um, so uh, Trifecta Plus, uh, starting off, I'm gonna answer a few questions that came in yesterday that I do know are gonna come up. And the first one is about uh, the NPK, the three numbers here on the top. Our very original packaging had them much higher and the reason why they were much higher is because when we were first starting out, we uh, we were going off of total nutrients and total nutrient availability um, in terms of the long-term uh, nutrients that need to be broken down and become plant available, as well as the plant available nutrients. And that was because we were a little bit naive when it came to fertilizer labeling laws. And uh, that's one of the, the biggest questions that comes up. Um, it's not it's not how to use it, it's not uh, should I use it, it's what happened with the, the numbers. Um, and so uh, that's that's that. Uh, we, we When we went to the state of Michigan to get this registered as a fertilizer, uh, they said, hey, you, you gotta do some changes with the label to make it compliant across the board. And so we, you know, it's, rather than fighting them on it, we just said, okay, you know what I mean? It's gonna cause a little confusion, but it's worth having it uh, registered because otherwise we wouldn't be able to sell it at all. So having it registered was, uh, was a big thing for us. So the label is approved by the state of Michigan as being A-OK -okay for sale. So that's why the numbers changed really. Um, but uh, to add on to that, do not get hung up on the numbers. Um, if this thing was like a 40, 40, 40, in my opinion, if the if what was in it was not uh, great for your soil or great for soil health, I wouldn't want it. So and and likewise goes for like a one two four. If this was like a one two four or a one one one, if it worked better than this and what was in it was a uh, higher quality and better than this, I'd go with that. Um, and so that's really what it comes down to. The numbers only mean the amount of nutrients available to your plants. Um, and in a lot of cases. There are, uh, even even this, there are many, many nutrients available to plants that the, you know, the, I guess the, the fertilizer industry does not allow us to put on our label. That's what's really unfortunate about this whole thing because on the back we're allowed to put that it contains over 50 trace minerals. Thing is, is that we can't state on the fertilizer label all those trace minerals because of the fact that, um, you you have to you have to follow certain guidelines. That's the unfortunate thing. So uh, so we have over 50 trace minerals in this thing, um, and those are all uh, amazing trace minerals for your plants found in azomite. We get azomite and green sand as our primary trace mineral sources, um, and then we also have mycorrhiza and fungi and things like that. Um, so it's it's incredible incredible stuff. And I just wanted to to clarify that whole thing about the numbers and why they're different. So, um, are we getting any questions, Cindy, on on uh, on the on the stream feed comments um, thing? <laughs> not necessarily. Just uh, commenting. Uh, one second. Okay, can you mix it with a bit of white vinegar to make it more quickly available to plants? Uh, would not recommend that. And the reason why I would not recommend that is because there are already plant available nutrients in here. There's a lot of calcium and things like that. And it's going to cause a reaction. Um, the reaction could, I mean, it could potentially help your plants. But to be more, to be perfectly honest, the only time you'd ever add vinegar to something to make it more plant available would be with like uh, eggshells. 
okay? There's a ton of plant available calcium in here. Um, we've gone the extra mile to source uh, strictly like plant available calcium, and there's some slow release calcium, but adding vinegar to that is really just going to add a whole different step. It's going to confuse you. Don't, I, I would not recommend doing it. It's not that it would hurt it or anything like that. I've never tried it. It's just, we tend to keep things simple here. And we know that what's in this works because we've tested it against tons of other fertilizers on the market. We know what we're putting in it because we mix it ourselves. We source all the ingredients ourselves. And we can tell you that our reason behind doing it is to make things simple for you. We want you to take, you know, for tomatoes, a quarter cup, dump it on your plants, be done for the season. Why add another step? And that's what I told Cindy as I said, you know, it's one of those things people, I think, sometimes are so used to adding so many other steps that they assume that's the way it is with most things, right? Right, honey? I mean, yeah. it's just people are so conditioned to to think that that if it seems too simple, it probably is. That's not the case with this. If it seems too simple, it's because we've gone through all the steps to make it really simple. Um, so yeah, would not recommend it. Would not recommend adding vinegar. An added step, not necessary. All right, so um, someone asked, um, Dolly asked about application times, what you could suggest about that. Okay. And also, um, if you can apply trifecta after you already planted the plant. Okay. And if it works on peonies and bananas. Okay. So it's a lot. <laughs> a lot, but all those can be, okay, so all of those can be answered very simply. Folks, if you have a specific plant you want to fertilize, go to Google and search trifecta plus application guide or go on our website and search application guide or trifecta plus application guide. We have a complete guide, a complete guide start to finish on absolutely every single plant you'd ever be growing. And some are kind of broken into like a category. For instance, you might have like a flowering cherry tree, let's say, but we consider those like an ornamental tree. And those ornamental trees are kind of in that that category of like a flowering cherry. So you have to you have to kind of understand that as well that there's millions and millions of plants and we can never go through them all. But trifecta plus can be used on literally every single plant. So Cindy, if you turn around here, like like all of our all of our citruses, like folks, if you're growing potted citruses, you're growing um, mangoes or coffees, like those those right there, people are always like, oh, you know, you need a, a citrus specific fertilizer, and it helps. We use trifecta plus on it. Um, so it's one of those things that like, people, they, again, they overcomplicate it. Plants will uptake nutrients because the same nutrients, they're nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, okay? And plants will uptake nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And there's no specific nutrients that the plant's going to say, well, hold on, you didn't give me, you know, like, uh, I mean, just keeping the examples um, specific to like, let's say flowering cherries, um, you know, or, or what was one of the ones, bananas? Uh, bananas, peonies. Okay, or... peonies or bananas. If you put trifecta plus on peonies or bananas, they're not going to say, hold on, you did not give me a peony specific fertilizer. It just doesn't work that way. Um, there's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, trace minerals, and micronutrients and things like that. And the plant will uptake those exactly the same as any other plant. I think that's a big misconception with fertilizing. Um, so you see a lot of kind of gimmicky stuff like uh, tomato specific fertilizer. It's just it's a it's a lot of gimmick and you and I can tell you for a fact that I've used tomato specific fertilizer on all my other plants before I before I uh, found trifecta plus and it worked just fine <laughs> and so um, so yes you can use trifecta plus on all those plants when it comes to the amounts you need you have to follow that application guide because it's going to tell you um, for some like perennials you want to apply twice a year for uh, for a lot of your annuals once a year is going to be fine and it'll tell you the amounts and the amount of times you want to fertilize and the times you want to fertilize. So it really is super in depth and will answer every single question you have about that. Now, when it comes to applying uh, once the plant has already been planted, this is a super big question we get asked. And if you, if, you, if you get it today and your plant's already in the ground, it will work exactly the same as if you would have applied it at transplanting time. The only difference is that had you applied it at transplanting time, <laughs> your plants probably would be, they're probably be a little more established and, and kind of on their way to producing fruit um, had you applied it earlier. Um, but if you're a little bit late to the game, that's okay, that's really okay. Like our tomato plants, you can go along and uh, and when they're already fully, fully growing and things like that, put a quarter cup around each plant, make sure you work it into the soil, make sure you work it into the top one inch of soil, water it in well, and make sure you apply the amount that's recommended and you just water it in 
and you're set. So really, really simple, and it will work just the same. Um, the whole thing is that you just want to make sure that it's actually in the soil. A lot of times people just sprinkle it around the base. It's not gonna cut it because when you water, that water is gonna run and it's gonna take away all your nutrients away from the plant. By working it in, it's gonna make sure that the nutrients don't move and you're gonna, your plants are gonna be able to uptake it, so. Okay, um, so how can someone tell exactly when they should be reapplying it? I guess it varies, right? Or how many times they should be applying it through the season? Well, it, it does vary. We typically say Trifecta Plus is good once a year, but that is for climates that have kind of some winter conditions. If you have seasons, there's going to be kind of an off season. Um, if you're in a place that does not have an off season, you can grow 300, and, uh, you know, just every day of the year, basically. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be something you're going to want to apply at least twice a year. Um, and primarily because your plants do uptake the nutrients. And so if you're in a place like California or you know, New Mexico, Texas, Florida, places like that, um, it's good to apply it twice. And you can typically see uh, the plants slowing down. Um, or if you, uh, a really good reference is about halfway through their, their maturity period. So let's say the, the plant is fruiting and flowering. I'll use a tomato as an example. Our tomatoes are about let's say, I don't even know, maybe four and a half feet tall. Um, and they've been flowering for about a month and a half now. And their flowering period in our climate is about three months. So let's say you're in, in California and your flowering period is six, seven months, as long as you can keep the plant alive. Um, that will, uh, that will greatly dictate when you fertilize. So if you're, if you're flowering season, is let's say six months after about three months of flowering reapply because that flowering and the fruit set takes away a ton of energy from the plant and a ton of energy uh, as well as a ton of nutrients from the soil so um, reapplying will keep that plant kind of going and producing um, and and it's just it's really just based on an eye it's hard for me to say exactly when because you should have enough kind of gardener's intuition to say, well, my, my plant looks like it's maybe yellowing or, or maybe it's slowing down growth or maybe it's not as vigorous uh, in flowering as it was. Those would be some signs you might wanna, wanna refertilize. And it's, the, the nice thing about this is it's not going to hurt your plants. If you do refertilize and let's say there's still nutrients in the soil and maybe just, oopsie, I, I added it too soon. The plant won't care. It's gonna stay in the soil until the plant's ready to use it. So if anything, you're just wasting uh, you know, uh, you're not necessarily wasting, but you're just putting it in prematurely and it might be better used somewhere else in the garden, but it's not gonna hurt the plants. So uh, yeah, it's all about gardener's intuition. So someone had a question about blossom end rot. Um, he's having a lot of rain in Indiana mm -hmm. and I think it's affecting his zucchini. Now is Trifecta something that would help his situation? Yeah, well, it depends. I mean, I, I'm all about transparency here. And one of the things about balsam end rot is a lot of times you have enough calcium in your soil, um, especially if you're using something like compost. There's a lot of calcium in the soil. The problem is, is infrequent waterings will, um, it will cause the plant to have an inability to uptake that, that calcium. It's, a, it's an essential component to calcium uptake, having enough water in the soil. And so if your soil dries out for a long period of time and you get water again, it's really difficult to, um, for the plant to uptake that calcium. Um, what I will say is that Trifecta Plus has 10%, well, 8.5% by the label, but total calcium percentage is 10%. 10% of, of, of the weight is calcium. And that's because we have things like gypsum, we have things like uh, 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 dolomitic lime, and we also have things like uh, bone meal, which has lots of calcium and things like that. So um, there's tons of calcium found in this in different forms, and calcium will help prevent blossom end rot if there's a calcium deficiency. Um, so they kind of do go hand in hand. If you're watering on a regular basis and you still see blossom end rot, throw some, you know, throw some trifecta on there. It's really going to help you out. Um, but I just wanted to clear that up because I think there's a lot of misinformation about blossom end rot, and I and I've done videos on it in the past, and I think I'll probably do some follow-ups. I just do think that so many people assume that because their tomatoes have blossom end rot or because their peppers have blossom end rot or because their squash have blossom end rot, that it's automatically a calcium deficiency um, when it really it could be solved by just watering on a more frequent basis. Okay, someone's asked if, we can, <laughs> if they can sprinkle trifecta on the leaves and I just want to say thank you to Chris. He's been 
you know, really on top of answering a couple of questions from awesome. some viewers. I so, appreciate that, guys. Yes. And um, so Chris um, said that you probably wouldn't want to yeah, because wanna... it'll just roll off. Because yeah. it's it's a very, um, it's a granular. It and, is a granular. Uh, you don't want, you do not want, you do not want to apply this to the leaves. Um, primarily because leaves, they do uptake nutrients as a foliar application, but that's liquid form. And if you if you put this powder on the on the leaves, most likely it's going to harm the leaves um, because there I mean there is sulfur in here, there is dolomitic lime in here. Um, there are things that when you put them on the leaves, they'll burn the leaves, um, and that's doesn't matter if they're organic or inorganic. Plants don't like things on their leaves, um, so and when it's, especially when it comes to chemicals, even organic chemicals can burn leaves. So do not put it on the leaves. Um, I just would never ever ever recommend that. And again. That comes down to overcomplicating things. Um, sometimes people think that a foliar application works better than a than just putting it on the soil. It's completely false. The plant knows what it needs, and if there's a nutrient deficiency, it'll take it the same way from the soil as it does from a, a foliar application. Um, and that's just the simple truth about it. So keep it simple. Keep it simple. Just put it around your plants and water it in, and you'll be fine. So um, Ronnie asked that. Um he, if this is safe for an all organic garden, he's concerned with chemicals. Yes, so. <laughs> see right there. It's intended for organic gardening. Again, the state of Michigan has approved this label and if if they saw any red flags with our ingredients, again, our ingredients list, hold on, maybe you can zoom on it. This is our ingredients list. This has to be 100% you know, true here. Everything that's in our ingredients list is what's in trifecta. And if they saw anything that was not approved for organic gardening, they would not have allowed us to put this on the label. So, um, I'm, and I'm, I'm not kidding you, right? Cindy, I mean, they, they're very thorough when it comes to, when it comes to uh, They wanna make sure that the verbiage is accurate yes. and the customer is not being misled and Absolutely. Yep. that the product's well, authentic and prime, too. Prime example is when we, claimed that, when we claimed that it had over 50 trace minerals, we had to show them that it did in fact have over 50 trace minerals. So we went to we went to Azomite, and they they'd already done the research. They'd already done the, the the third party testing to prove that they had the 50 trace minerals. And since we're using Azomite as a, as an ingredient in Trifecta Plus, um, and you can even see here, uh, where is it right here? Um, yep. So you can see Azomite is in fact in our ingredients list. Um, so. Um, so with with their third party third party testing, all we had to do was just say, "All right, we can refer you to them." So they're very thorough. I mean, they went through every <laughs> single word um, to uh, to to make sure. Um, and prime example too, this always gets brought up: natural base. We can't say it is organic because that means we have to go to Omri or uh, another third party organic uh, part uh, organic um, tester. And because we don't have the money to do that, because it, that costs a ton of money to do, we, we simply just said, you know what? We trust our product, we trust our verbiage, we trust the ingredients going in it, we trust it in our organic garden. We're very, very strict on what goes in there. That, um, you know, that, that extra money to get that Omri listed right now is not a priority and that would actually set us back from getting it out to more people. Um, so, so we simply stuck with the verbiage that the state allowed. So everything is allowed um, on here. So anything you read is in fact true and one, well, it's also true because we don't have a reason to lie to you. I think that's a big thing too. Um, we, are, we are gardeners first and if we don't use something in our garden or we wouldn't want something done to us, we don't want it done to you because that's, I mean, that's what brings in our livelihood is being honest and upfront. And we'd never do something that we would not approve in our garden. I think that's that's really what it comes down to. Um, someone said things they did in Oops, but I don't think they did. They say they sprinkled theirs on soil and established plants and watered it in without trying to work it into the soil first. Will it still work? So um, it's almost like side dressing or top dressing? Well, top dressing, top dressing is where you put it into the, into the, the, the vicinity of the plant, you work it in, and then you water. That's top dressing. Um, so if you didn't work it in, is that? If you don't work it in, it, if you don't work it in, it won't be the end of the world. But just know that it takes a much longer time for the plants to come in contact with it. The reason being, and I'll tell you the the, the short the shortened version of this, is that Trifecta Plus contains beneficial bacteria and fungi. Your soil, if you're using like a a so, if you're using soil. 
to grow your plants, it will have beneficial bacteria and fungi in your soil as well. Those beneficial bacteria and fungi account for over 80%. And folks, I'm not making this up. This is a well-sourced uh, well fact that agronomists have found that over 80% of the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace minerals, micronutrients basically, are acquired in the plant through the use of beneficial bacteria and fungi. The plant simply does not have the capability to uptake those, type, those nutrients and the types of nutrients that are out there, but through the help of the beneficial bacteria and fungi, creating a symbiotic relationship, those plants can access those nutrients. So um, what, I'm, what I'm getting with that is that the top of the soil is not where you want your nutrients to be. One inch to five inches below soil level is called the rhizosphere. And if you want your, your nutrients to be able to be uptaken by the plant, you want you want the, what are you, what are you going about? <laughs> the people are commenting that the birds are going nuts. <laughs> they are going nuts. Our, our neighbor feeds them and they're incredibly awesome. But the yeah, birds she don't, has a crazy. great collection. Of... So, but I was, on, I was on a great point. I was on a great point. Birds, shh. Okay, um, <laughs> so if you don't have your nutrients in the rhizosphere, which is the, the levels one inch below soil level to five inches, that rhizosphere is what contains the beneficial bacteria and fungi. That top, the top uh, one inch, if, or the, the top layer of soil, um, above soil level I should say, is really accessible to the sun. And that sun will kill and solarize your soil. That's why that the top layer of soil is not really where you want to be. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. It doesn't hurt it, it just takes a lot longer for the nutrients to become available to the plant. Okay. Sorry for the birds, by the way. <laughs> no. All right, so some people are inquiring if I, they can get it at Walmart, if they can get shipped to the UK. Yes. Um, we do ship to the UK all internationally. Yep, we do ship anywhere in the world. We, we've shipped to Japan. Um, Kevin Scott, if you're watching, Kevin, Man, he's ordered tons to, to Japan. Um, his garden looks incredible. Um, but also we've shipped some to the UK. We ship, we've shipped, we ship it all the time to Canada. Um, the shipping cost is more expensive than you'd expect. Um, it's more expensive than I'd expect. But that's the price that we get from USPS. So assuming the price for shipping is fine, um, yeah, we can ship it there. Um, Cindy, what do you, you want to say? Um, okay, so there's a kind commenter asking about bulk shipping for the uk a bulk bag to get shipped to the uk yes we can't really do that well it, we can but is the price it's um, quite we, a bit we can't no we, we can't ship uh the thing is we can't ship anything over 12 pounds across international lines um uh borders and customs will not allow it um simply put uh, usps has the rules in place that are Wherever they get their rules from, they enforce them. And any fertilizer, doesn't matter if it's organic or inorganic, we fought them tooth and nail on it. It's not worth fighting anymore. They will not allow us to send anything more than 12 pounds because they said that, um, again, whether or not it's true or not, uh, they said at certain altitudes, certain amounts of, of fertilizer can become flammable due to pressure and whatnot. Again, I, I won't get into the logistics of it, and I'm not a... A and the thing is that fertilizer like that. does not have like right those chemicals. It doesn't have those chemicals in it, but, but fertilizer, it's a gets fertilizer. A, fertilizer gets a bad rep. This is considered a fertilizer by their standards. We consider this a soil supercharger. It's a different word that we're using because it heals the soil, fix the soil, amends the soil, feeds the plants, feeds the bacteria. It's really an all-in-one, but they call it a fertilizer, so it goes by their standards can't ship any more than 12 pounds and since a bulk bag is 15 pounds yeah it's just yeah but what you can do what you can do and it's very cost effective more cost effective than buying one bag is buy four three pound bags that's 12 pounds we can ship 12 pounds and kevin scott our man kevin scott over in japan has ordered four bags numerous times and um and that's just kind of one way to to kind of get around it not really get around it but to to meet what they to meet are the, asking yeah. and also just get exactly. you guys the... exactly and, and, it, and it saves you money too because, um, for instance, one three pound bag shipped to uh, internationally is like 30, don't quote me, it's like 30 something dollars. Um, or no, it's like $24. To ship two of them, it's like 
43, 43, but to ship four of them, it's like six, 60 something. Yeah, about, so about $60. So it, again, it seems like a lot and it is a lot, but that's the price they've given us. So we don't make any money on shipping folks. And that's what we're really proud of too, is we don't make any, any money on shipping. Um, there's a lot of companies that they kind of, they, they kind of, they, <laughs> they kind of weasel in some extra profit by charging you shipping and handling costs. The shipping and handling, well, there's no handling cost, but the shipping cost is what we get from the USPS. Um, so anytime we can cut some money there, we, we lower the, the price to adjust for that. So, yeah. And um, someone asked about working with other shipping companies. It's a little bit hard to get a good it, price it's hard with to get them. A, it's hard to get a good price. We've we don't worked, have the volume of setting up. We've worked with UPS. Out. We've worked with FedEx. And the thing is, they don't want to work with us. Um, so if you want to call them up and yell at them, you're more than welcome to. Uh, they don't want, they just do not want to work with us. And I'm not sure why USPS, um, despite every bad thing that people have to say about it, I have nothing but good things to say about it. They've been friendly. They've been professional. They give us uh, rate cuts when we can, when we can meet the, the volumes. Um, they're, they're fast, they're prompt, and they, they want to work with small businesses. So, you know, it, it, we're willing to work with anybody. We're not biased. Um, it, whatever costs the least to the customer is what we go for because we want to save you guys money as, as much as possible. We want to get this, this stuff in as many hands as possible. And we understand that shipping uh, can be a barrier uh, to, to purchasing. So, um, Is there any other product specific questions? I mean, Well, someone asked um, when choosing between Trifecta and, and RevivRx. Okay. How Good do question. they decipher which one's the one they should get good for question. their needs? So I do get asked this all the time. This is a very good question. I'm glad it's brought up. So as you guys know, we have a product. It's a 100% water salt. We've got some wind rolling through. Hold on. That's going to that's gonna mess up the audio, I know. Um, so um, now, that the now that the gusts are gone, uh, we get asked about Revive RX, which is our second our second fertilizer in the MI Gardener fertilizer line. It is a water-soluble fertilizer but it is mostly fast acting nitrogen, as well as some tra water soluble trace minerals and things like that derived from kelp. Trifecta Plus, I would always go with first. If you are growing hydroponically, I would go with Revive RX because you can't use this hydroponically. If you're growing, um, if you're growing in, uh, in a soil that you've already applied Trifecta Plus, that is when I would add Revive RX because um, Trifecta Plus contains everything. It is literally a one-stop shop. Revive RX, where it is convenient, is if you're looking for additional fertilizing. Let's say, let's say you think your plants are slowing down on the nitrogen, or let's say you've got a super heavy rain. For instance, we just had an absurd amount of rain last night. Most likely, what we will do, because we've done it already, is we'll go by, we'll, we'll kind of check the plants for any nutrient deficiencies when it comes to nitrogen, because nitrogen is one of those one of those nutrients that when it's it's very water soluble, and when you get a lot of rain or you overwater, that tends to leave the soil first in a process called leaching, and so that's where we'd follow up with Revive RX because its its main objective, our main objective behind it, was to give you super fast acting nutrients, primarily in the nitrogen category, because that is where most plants become stressed. That's where most plants start when you're trying to get them to boost growth, and so. Um, that's what tri that's what uh, Reviver X does, different to Trifecta Plus. Also, if you have uh, if you're if you're someone that's watering many many acres of plants or or you have a huge garden, um, Reviver X can be stretched. Whereas Trifecta Plus, I mean, it can be stretched, but you should be putting a certain amount per plant to get the optimum result. And so, whereas tri uh, Trifecta Plus, um, like one three pound bag, can do about. 24, 25 tomato plants. Um, uh, Revive RX can be diluted down or or kept more concentrated, depending on your depending on your needs, and it can be put in drip emitters. So if you have like a drip system, it can be put in drip emitters, and since it's sediment free, it won't clog your drip emitters. Again, this is not water soluble, so you can't put this in a drip system. So there are pros and cons to, to both. But I would always suggest starting with Trifecta Plus. Um, I'm not biased to any of them. I absolutely love both. I think they're both absolutely insane, incredible products. And you can see the results on the two beds. Cindy, you want to stand up? Folks, these two beds right here, the, the two beds, the bean bed 
and the cucumber bed have had nothing but Revive RX put on. No trifecta has been applied to those beds, and they are doing absolutely insane. Now, what I would like to do is I'd like to also maybe next year grow bean plants with trifecta and Revive RX because the rest of the garden, the rest of the garden has had both when when both are needed. So we apply trifecta plus to the entire garden except for those two beds. And then anytime we get a super heavy rain or or uh, we feel that the nutrients have been kind of washed from the soil or the plants might be stressed, we'll give them a, a, a low dosage of Revive RX. So they've gotten both. And I'm telling you, I mean, the plants are just, I mean, Cindy, have you ever, have you, I mean, honest, I'm not putting you on the spot. Have you ever seen a garden so explosive? <laughs> I mean, no. it's just insane. So. And speaking on that, someone asked, I know it does not apply to um, trifecta, but it's something that we can definitely share. Um, we are going to go to the cottage garden tomorrow. Yes. To we'll plan up and we're going to films of footage it's been not neglected per se but it's just not been it hasn't seen the love that it deserves uh, yes. just because this has been our, our main focus getting this put in it's just been absolutely nuts and, um, and, we, and we will we are we are planning on going up there but we are slowly converting it into a mostly perennial garden so we're gonna have a ton of uh, perennial plants up there um, and so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a slow conversion but we're gonna put like um, raspberries up there and strawberries and blueberries and blackberries stuff that kind of self-sustain that we don't have to constantly go up there and maintain because this now is our this is our main focus because it's literally 50 feet from our door um, what time are we at by the way uh we're at 31 minutes okay um, let's answer two more questions because so i said we max have about 30 minutes. asks about dil i guess you kind of touch up on it already it's like if you can dilute trifecta in order to use it for hydroponics your answer yeah, would be no no you cannot dilute trifecta plus to be used in hydroponics primary reason is this has a ton of organic material in it like I mean, bone meal, uh, kelp meal, blood meal, poultry manure, feather meal, cottonseed meal, uh, rock gypsum. It has a ton of sediment and stuff that's not water soluble. Azomite, not really water soluble. Um, rock phosphate, chelated iron, alfalfa meal, humic acid. Uh, those are like they have sediment to them and if you put that in a hydroponic uh, system, it is going to stink so bad that you will instantly hate trifecta. And it's not the fault of trifecta, it's just you used it in the wrong system. So don't, don't ever, ever, ever use it in hydroponics. Um, it's just not something we ever recommend. Okay, and- But um, Revive RX would work. Revive RX can be used in hydroponics very well, mind you. Okay. Um, uh, last question. Pick is there so one. is there such thing as using too much trifecta? Um, depends on how you. Work. Yes, you can use too much trifecta, but not in a way that would hurt your plants. It would just waste money. Um, yeah. So yes, you can use too much and and waste the effectiveness of a bag, because there's that's like a return of. Yeah, it's it, your your return on your application dwindles. So let's say a quarter cup is applied to, to tomatoes. We recommend a quarter cup for tomatoes. If you apply a half a cup, the reason why we don't recommend a half a cup is because a half a cup doesn't make a whole lot much more of a difference than a quarter cup. And you're really just wasting that extra quarter cup where you could be applying it somewhere else in the garden or reserving it in case you need to apply it later. So um, it won't hurt your plants. Um, I mean, obviously also I will, for a disclaimer, we don't recommend using this straight, you know, don't plant seeds directly in Trifecta Plus. Um, that probably will end up hurting the plant. Uh, but, I mean, if you, if you, in a reasonable dilution into soil, um, you cannot over apply it. So, I guess I just cleared the air there. So, uh, one more question. We'll do one more question. Um, oh, and uh, so everyone knows, you can check out Trifecta Plus. We always get this. Where can I get it? You can get Trifecta Plus in two, three, and 15 pound bags at migardener.com. Um, you can, there's a fertilizer tab. That fertilizer tab drops down and you can see all of our fertilizers that we have, av uh, have available. Um, it can be found there. We are working with some retailers currently, uh, one in Illinois, a couple here in Michigan. All right, there you go, we're back. All right. The sun was out, and it's that's why I wanted to keep it to about 30 minutes because it just gets too hot for the phone. We actually, <laughs> we actually overheated. We overheated. Um, so, uh, so yes, we're back, and um, 
and uh, where were we? So, um, I'm not where sure. it's available online it's and available um, there's com. and we are working at finding retail. <laughs> We're working on getting to retailers, but honestly, the best way to get it at stores is you guys talk to your local garden centers or um, even big box stores if you want um, to get it stocked there. Um, yeah. But for now, it's only online. Mm -hmm. One of the things I will say is that uh, Trifecta Plus has been a grassroots thing. So many people, so many people have tried it, and it's really changed their gardens for the better. And one of the biggest things you can do is and I mean this sincerely, one of the biggest things you can do is post pictures on, on Facebook, um, post videos on YouTube of your gardens, post people, you know, post talking about trifecta. It's not, it's not for, it's not for our benefit. What? Well, I mean, in a way it kind of is, is a benefit to us because people can see the effects of it. But if you want more people to know about it, if you want and you really do have amazing results that you want to share with the world and you want to get it into retail stores and you want to help us get it into retail stores, having videos, pe stores, retailers nowadays are really, really uh, shy about carrying small business products. They want household names um, and they, they want products that, uh, that are you know, universally known. Um, and so they're very, very shy about putting in small small businesses into their into their stores um, and the thing is that we want to be in, in as many stores as humanly possible um, but it can't be done without your help and I mean that so uh, so share pictures of your garden share videos of your garden um, contact your you bug your local garden centers tell them you know hey you got to check this out tell them to get in contact with us um, because they just are not actively they want they want to see community support for it uh, because if they go to us, let's say they hear about it and they want to try it, they want to know that someone in their community, someone local is going to want to buy it. They want to know there's going to be demand for it um, because they can't be losing money, obviously, otherwise they won't be in business. So they're very selective. But if you say, hey, if you carry this, I'll buy it. I'll tell all my friends that they have it. Um, we'll do our job to promote it as a, as a retailer on our website. We're working on that with our web developer to get a you know Google Maps location of any retailer that carries uh, MI Gardener products. Um, that way you, that way they have incentive to want to wanna carry it in their stores. So um, yeah, but the final thing I do wanna mention as well, um, before we do a, a closing question, a closing great question is, if you wanna join a community of, of strictly people using Trifecta Plus and really see the results that are happening in real time with people's gardens, Go to Facebook. If you have Facebook, go to Facebook and search Trifecta Plus Users. It also, on our MI Gardener uh, Facebook page, which you guys are probably and should be following us on, um, there's a we have we've connected Trifecta Plus Users as a as like a, a registered group of of our page, and so you can join that. We will accept you into the group, um, and it is a super fun place to be if you're using Trifecta Plus. If you have questions about Trifecta Plus, I think we're up to like 300 and something users now on there. I um, think so, And yeah. so yeah, it's like 300 and something users. Um, I really, really love to see you uh, trying Trifecta, getting over there, uh, asking questions about it. If you're on the fence, still go join there. You, you can see the results and maybe that'll help you make the decision. Um, again, we have nothing to hide behind. Uh, our results speak for themselves. Um, we're not, uh, you know, I mean, we're not, we're not trying to, to be uh, used car salesmen. We just know how much this has affected our lives, our gardens, and and has affected other people's lives and gardens as well. So we want you to try this. We really, really do. Um, and that is that. So last question, final amazing Oops. question. Uh, I think so. Um, to Patricia, I believe she sent us a super chat. Whoa. Thank you, Patricia. Mm -hmm. Yes, so generous. Did she? Um, did, did I don't a see a question. No. Did it? Did it have like the thing highlighted? Yes. Patricia, man, you could have asked a question, and we would have. Yeah. Anyways, well, I appreciate the support, Patricia. That means a lot, um, and we really do value that. Um, and for anyone else that uh, that that has sent super chats or anything like that, thank you, thank you guys so much. It really does um, mean a lot to us, and we never ask for it, but. 
thank you nonetheless. Um, so final question, anybody, anybody, final question. How often you can apply a trifecta, which I think is you. I already asked that question. So up to one to two times, we sell it at migardener.com, available internationally. Shipping varies. Um, it's uh, for organic gardening. And um, what else? If, like just a little recap, I guess. If you go to migardener.com and search application guide, or go on Google and type in Trifecta Plus application guide, it will be the first result. And it will show you how many times you should be fertilizing, the amounts per plant that you should be fertilizing, and the times in which you should be fertilizing. I cannot stress that enough. It is complete and it is thorough. And if there's not something listed on there, send me an email, I'll, I'll let you know. But I'd be surprised because we spent two, three days going through and cataloging everything anyone would ever wanna grow. And, uh, and it will help you out, I promise, promise, pinky promise. Okay, so Patricia does have a question. Okay. Um, how long before I see results and is it, if it's good for flowers as well? Okay, so um, this, uh, this will be the question we end on. Wait for the kind gentleman with the loud truck to go by. Okay, so, <laughs> so all right. Uh, trifecta Plus, you can start seeing results within three to five days. Generally, that's around the time that you start seeing stuff because the fast acting nutrients are ready right away. Like as soon as you apply it to the garden and as soon as you get it watered in, those nutrients are going to be coming in contact with the plant. So you should start to see results within three to five days guaranteed. And that's a guarantee that we'll stand behind because if your plants need it, the plants are gonna wanna take it up and they're gonna take it up immediately. Um, some people have seen results in 24 hours. Some people have seen results in 48 hours but we're very confident, very, very confident, because we've even seen the results. We've even seen the results on our garden in in no less, or uh, in no, in three to five days. Um, I don't want to confuse anybody, but yeah, that's the way that you should start seeing results. Uh, as far as if it's good for flowers, absolutely, it's good for flowers. Check out Patricia. Check out that complete application guide. It's going to have things like flowers um, in that list. Again, it might be a little more broad. Um, it might just be like ornamental flowers or something like that. Um, I forget how it's worded necessarily, but I know flowers are in there. And uh, and so um, it will be in there and you can find out how much you uh, you need to apply. So is there any final pressing ones? Any final pressing questions? Uh, so I know it's, it's getting hot, it's getting humid, and I need some lunch. <laughs> I, need, I need some lunch to keep the- uh, Yes, Luke was really happy. into gardening as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I, I was- uh, he actually developed trifecta when what you were seven, eighteen ish, nineteen. Well, it's it took you a couple years to took, develop took about, it. About uh, four and a half years to formulate. Twenty three now. It's been for sale for five years, so nine and a half years. Twenty three. I was like I was like fifteen when I started working on it, ish. Yeah. I was I was just I was just getting into high school. And when I met you, you were like about nineteen, and you. You were just finalizing what was going to yeah. be Trifecta Plus, and yeah, that was it took, it took like a four long years ago. Time. I mean, it was a lot of formulating. It was like every year I'd, I'd change up the mix. I'd send it off uh, for testing. I'd, I'd apply it to, to plants against other fertilizers. I mean, it was it was a super, uh, I mean, I was serious about it because I was serious about, I've always been serious about gardening and I've always been serious about getting the results that I felt uh, were, were possible. And I mean, even today, even now, when I apply it, sometimes I'm still blown away. And I'm just like, this is, this is game changing when it comes to gardening because I've never, I've never found something that is just a one, once and done solution and it solves every problem that you'd have, or every, well not every problem necessarily, but every need that a gardener has, this solves. And that's truly why so many people are passionate about it and so many people are like shaking their friends like if you don't try this I'm going to buy you a bag and make you try it <laughs> so um, and uh, and yeah it's it's just incredible stuff and thank you all for the support that you've given it so far we definitely would not be where we're at today without that support but also thank you so much for the people that have uh, shared pictures and shared videos um, that support means uh, means more to us than anything because it lets us know that our mission of helping people grow a, big, uh, a bigger, better garden, easier, really is coming true. And that's that's been our core mission since day one, is to make gardeners uh, you know, have access to the information, that's why we do these videos, so they have access to free, high quality information, but then also be able to buy products that, that 
are not just products. They're products intended for the sole purpose of helping you grow a bigger garden, helping you grow bigger, go home, helping you feed your family uh, for less money, and also just seeing results that you never really thought were possible in the garden and inspiring gardeners to get out there and give it a shot. Um, it's just the more we can do to help gardeners, I, I think the more impact we can have on the world. And if even if it's a small impact, I absolutely have always had the mission of leaving a footprint um, for generations to come. And I just, I'm so, so passionate about it. And I think that, uh, well, I hope, I hope that comes through. Um, Cause every day I wake up, I eat, breathe, sleep gardening and I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Wouldn't trade it for the world. So. And um, so international customers, like if you guys have any questions about the shipping costs, just shoot us an, a message because sometimes we can find something cheaper. Not all the time, but just we message can see what, us. We can see what we can do. And um, you guys don't feel like in the dark. And um, I think it's pretty much it. And also for those that uh, joined the live stream and wanted us to answer some gardening questions, we'll do a separate live stream so we can answer all of those. Yes. We are so sorry if any of you guys got disappointed, but <laughs> we just wanted to address any pressing question with trifecta to people. So yeah. just catch us up on that. If not, shoot us a message and we'll answer your gardening questions there as well. And I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, I, I appreciate everyone's uh, patience with the technical glitch that we had. Um, but I think the, the Wi-Fi at least cooperated today, which is a big step in the right direction. We'll get it working so we can go out in the garden next time for a live stream. I promise we'll get that working for the next live stream. We'll answer all your gardening questions and uh, we'll get that uh, going. So anyways, I'm off to the basement so I can edit up a video for today. Um, we got a couple uh, on the docket. Cindy, which one should we upload today? Mm, well, how about we let them vote? So there's one about... Yes, we'll let uh, them vote. That's a good idea. Okay, so which ones what do you so have? So we have a we have a video on... Wait, we just do like a keyword, like a... Okay, what well, keyword in terms like of... A... Give me more information. <laughs> mm, we have, close we have, your ears, guys. <laughs> we have, no, we have, so we have, um, we have a mango growing guide. Uh, peanuts. We have, I already, I already did the one on peanuts. Oh. Cute. I already uploaded that one. So Sweet, we, have a, we have a mango growing guy. <laughs> we have a video on how how washing off your fruit trees, <clears throat> how washing off your fruit trees actually increases their health and decreases pests. It's a really good method we've been applying here um, organically. We have really a helps. recipe video on beets. We do have a recipe video on that includes beets in some way, shape, or form, um, and uh, that's a more of like a food preservation video. Um, well, so food pre preservation, mango, or what was the other one? Sorry. Well, washing your fruit trees. Washing your fruit trees. Um, I know we have more. Mango, 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 mango. We have, we have, <laughs> uh, we have, uh, I think three or four videos left. We we do pre-record, and just to be transparent with everyone, the reason why you see us wearing the same shirt sometimes is because we have multiple shirts available. But oftentimes, what it is is we pre-record because we have. We have a business to run. We have a family to uh, to maintain, and we also have videos that we want to put out and, and things like that. So to manage all of that, we pick one or two days a week where we film all of the videos for the for the coming week, and that way we can upload them without. Because sometimes, I mean, like yesterday, it rained all day. We wouldn't have been able to film yesterday, and because we're going daily. Um, also, let us know in the comments box. Do you like that we're going daily? Um, is there anything you'd like us to do more of? Um, and also, has the daily videos been something that you've been looking, that you've looked forward to, and 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 uh, been excited about? So, um, I'd be interested to see your your opinions on that. Uh, I love it, and as long as the garden is growing, as long as there's content to be doing, we're gonna be doing it. So, <laughs> I think that's it. Anyways, hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hope, um, hope, what? I think I think mango one. Okay. I I think. It, I think food preservation would have won had I told them I'm on it. I'm in it. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Cindy's. But in, you know that... what? It's okay. We'll p upload that one tomorrow. Okay. And well, do the mango tomorrow's, today. Tomorrow's Saturday, so we don't. No, have... tomorrow's Friday, honey. Tomorrow's Friday. Oh, tomorrow's Friday. That's what you get when you, uh, when you, when you're low on food and it's hot out. Okay. So we'll do. So here's what we'll do. Here's the video lineup, so everyone knows. Here's the, here's the, the um. Here's the, the way we'll do it. So we'll do the mango video today. I'll go get that one uploaded. Um, bear with me, it's it's a bit longer, a lot more editing has to go into that one. Um, then the beet 
video that Cindy is in. Cindy features and st she's she's the star of the show in that one. Um, <laughs> I man the camera, so she's 100% in it. Uh, I will upload that one on Friday, and then we will do a video on washing off your fruit trees. It doesn't sound that exciting. Trust me, it will help a ton of gardeners out and really increase the success you have on your fruit trees organically without sprays um, or pesticides, fungicides, things like that. <laughs> we'll upload that one on Monday. So uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then I, I might even have a couple more in the in the lineup that I've just forgotten about because it's... it's uh, Charlotte it's told me to go stuff. feed you. I'm like, well, you should get excited because you're gonna get Lunchables. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not giving you we're Lunchables. Have, we're gonna have we're zucchini. Gonna, we're going to have zucchini from the garden with wild uh, with wild rice. So I am excited for that. So, anyways, yes, you I'm guys go. have a blessed yep. day too. You have a blessed day. We will talk to you all later. This is Luke. Grow big or go home. And Cindy from the Mi Gardener channel, reminding you <laughs> to grow big or go home. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. We love and support you back. And we know that you can grow big or go home. So we'll talk to you all later. Grow big or go home. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Lunchables are not organic. Sorry, guys. What is trifecta? <laughs> is the live stream done? Or am I, no, no. Am I still, Bye, guys. Am I still just like sitting here like a it's, goofball? It's, it's done. <laughs> all right. Where's baby? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, she's taking a nap. <laughs> what? No. Someone asked, where's the baby? Am I still she's... sitting here like this? Like <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Bye. See ya. See ya. Bye.